Journey into the near future in an unknown nation that was once the United States of America. A land that has become shrouded in mystery after walling itself off from the rest of the world without explanation over 30 years ago. When a team seeking a cure for a global pandemic breaches US borders, they quickly find themselves in a struggle to survive this strange and deadly lost continent. Hey, pull listers, Dragonus Prime here, clawing his way into your hearts, and I have an amazing discovery for you right here. It is called Undiscovered Country. Undiscovered Country released in November of 2019. It was written by Charles Soule and Scott Snyder, with art by Giuseppe Camincoli and Danielle Orlandini. If I'd have to give Undiscovered Country a letter grade, I'd give it a USA! All joking aside, this is an amazing book and definitely worth the read. I discovered it when uh, I was out with Dr. Impact one day. We were talking about comics and I expressed my interest in reading this book that was Walking Dead-esque where the people are trying to survive in a world, but I was so tired of zombies because there are zombies everywhere now. And he recommended Undiscovered Country for me. Boy, was I not disappointed. When I read that first issue, I devoured it like an adventurer trying to take on a red dragon. And then I ended up blowing through the next seven issues. In Undiscovered Country, the America has been literally walled off from the rest of the world. They have built these superiorly technologically advanced walls all around their borders, both on the east and west coast as well. And it is a completely dark zone in the middle of there. And no one has been in or out of the country for 30 years. While they have kind of pocketed themselves away and cut themselves off from the rest of the planet, a global pandemic has broken out. This disease, named the Sky Flu, is tearing through the world, killing people left and right, and there is not a hope in sight for any type of cure until one day a scientist from inside America reaches out to the world and says, Come to America. We have a cure. The world organizations assemble a team and they are brought into America through their walls and technological fields and crash land somewhere in the southwest. And that's where the fun begins. Once in this world, our protagonists discover that America is no longer the America that they thought it was. It is now this apocalyptic Mad Max world that's almost mixed with Fallout, where there's mutated creatures about. One thing that I really love that always grabs my attention is when the artists and writers pay extreme close attention to world building. And Charles Soule and Scott Snyder have not missed the mark on this one. On top of just getting a sheer depth, in-depth knowledge of the world itself and where it has become, you also get these amazing supplements at the end of each book, where one of them is a timeline describing everything from when America, building up to America closing its walls, and where we are now as well as you get interesting testimonials from people living in the world about America, the America that they knew. And then, of course, fun little tidbits about how they developed comic book covers and character designs and such. They also go into a great in-depth detail on how the world itself works. So my favorite thing about this book itself is just the attention to detail. For instance, in the Southwest where they're at now, inhabitants they come across are wrapped in fabric from space shuttles to keep the heat off of their bodies. And the most wild thing in the world is you have this Walmart driving around the Southwest built on top of these giant tank treads. I mean, it's, it's like something right out of Mad Max Fury Road. The country is broken up into different sections, and each section has a, its own gate between each section. That kind of leads me to what is my most negative thing about this book, 
is there's only seven issues and they've only gotten through the first chunk of America and I want to know more. If you want to know more in depth about this story, check out our current issues podcast where Dr. Impact goes into more detail. You can find a link for our podcast in the description below. I strongly suggest you do your civic duty and discover Undiscovered Country. Dragonus Prime, out. Well, folks, that's our show. We hope you liked it. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the My Big Fat Pull List YouTube channel so you don't miss another episode of one of our shows. And don't forget, we have a podcast. Make sure you head on over and search out My Big Fat Pull List podcast on any one of your podcast listening platforms. And help us keep the lights on by heading on over to www.patreon.com forward slash My Big Fat Pull List. And you'll know that you can get any one of these amazing shirts right there. You. Also, hit us up on all of our social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. 